Hello friends, the value which occurs most frequently in the data is said to be mode of data, right? For example, say a shop sold shirts on a given day. The sizes of the shirts sold is given here. Say the shopkeeper wants to find which size is sold most so that he can order more of that. As we can see, 42 size has the most occurrence, 5 occurrences. So this size, 42, is asked by most of the people. So this becomes the mode of the data. This is an example of ungrouped data. Let us take an example of grouped data. Aman is a great batsman. He played in school team in many tournaments. Just look. He's a really big hitter. He has hit 0 to 2 success in 4 matches, 2 to 4 success in 18 matches, 4 to 6 success in 12 matches, 6 to 8 success in 8 matches, and 8 to 10 success in 4 matches. Wow! Say we need to find the mode of the data. Which value of success happens most frequently? The data is grouped here. 0 to 6, 2 success means it can be 0 success, 1 success or 2 success. Then how to find the mode of a single value which is the mode of the data? From the data we can say 2 to 4 success were hit most of the time. So the mode of the data that is the most frequently appeared number is supposed to be in this class. We call this modal class. 2 to 4 is the modal class. The formula for finding mode of group data is like this. Mode is equal to L plus F1 minus F0 by 2 times F1 minus F0 minus F2 whole bracket into H. Here L is the lower limit of the modal class which is 2 in this example. Modal class is 2 to 4 so lower limit is 2. H is the size of classes, which is equal to 2, like 6 minus 4 equal to 2. F1 equal to frequency of the modal class, which is 18 in this example. F0 equal to frequency of the class preceding, before the modal class, which is equal to 4. F2 is equal to frequency of the class succeeding, that is after the modal class, which is 12 in this example. So Let's find the mode of the given data. That is probably how many sixes did he hit in most of the matches. So here L equal to 2, H equal to 2, F1 equal to 18, frequency of the model class, F0 is equal to frequency of the class preceding the model class which is 4 and F2 equal to frequency of the class succeeding the model class which is 12. So we put in the values. 2 plus 18 minus 4 by 2 into 18 minus 4 minus 12 whole bracket into 2 which is we solve the inside bracket part we get 14 by 20 so it becomes 2 plus 14 by 20 into 2 is equal to 2 plus 7 by 5 which is equal to 2 plus 1.4 is equal to 3.4 so mode of this data is 3.4 that is he has hit 3.4 success in most of the matches. To revise, to find mode of a grouped data, first we find the class which has the most frequency. This will be called modal class. Then we put the values in this formula to actually find the mode value. That is mode equal to L plus F1 minus F0 by 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. That's all for now. In the next lesson, we will take few more real-life examples. Till then, bye-bye.